오늘의 진수식은 우리가 신형 핵추진 잠수함을 건조하는 데 못지않게 우리의 적수들에게 부담스러운 일이 될 것입니다. 우리 해군의 핵무장화를 계속 추진해 나갈 것입니다. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un did promise that he was taking his country's navy very seriously, making it his top military priority, as we reported recently. And now it's become clear that he already had a show of naval strength ready to unveil. The North reported Friday on a submarine launching ceremony that was held a couple of days earlier. Leader Kim was in attendance. This submarine, which may have a submerged displacement of over 3,000 tons, has been introduced as a new type of vessel, a tactical nuclear attack submarine capable of carrying out underwater nuclear attacks. 지난 수십 년간 공화국에 대한 침략의 상징물로 인배기에 있던 핵 공격 잠수함이라는 수단이 이제는 파렴치한 원수들을 공포에 질리게 하는 위협적인 우리의 힘을 상징하게 되고 그것이 세상이 지금껏 알지 못한 우리 시기의 새로운 공격형 잠수함이라는 사실은 진정 우리 인민 모두가 반길 경사가 아닐 수 없습니다. With applauding military officials behind him, Kim was all smiles as he looked on at the submarine, which would apparently perform its combat mission as one of the core underwater offensive means of the North's naval force. And the leader delivered a speech celebrating how the nuclear attack submarine has been turned from a symbol of invasion against North Korea to a symbol of its own power that terrifies the shameless enemies. This is a big deal for Kim and the North because there have been questions about the country's long-range missile capabilities, particularly its intercontinental ballistic missiles. Even an older North Korean submarine could be hard to detect, and a newer one, equipped with a nuclear weapon, might even be able to travel to some American territory unseen, posing a threat with the kind of short-range missile that North Korea has been able to fire off successfully so many times in the past. So, compared with ground-based missiles that South Korea's military is constantly monitoring potential launches of, this is a very different kind of North Korean threat. We might note that analysts have been anticipating this for years, though. The North's made no secret of its development of submarine-launched ballistic missiles, or SLBMs, and it has also been working on some sort of new submarine as long ago as 2016, with Kim actually seen inspecting a submarine under construction in July of 2019. We don't know officially what kind of missile this new submarine would be able to fire. Initial images from the north suggest it's equipped with 10 missile tubes that could likely fire SLBMs. This may mean the vessel's armed with four Puguk-Song medium-range missiles and six modified K-23 Iskander mini SLBMs, though a military source cited by Yonhap News Agency said North Korea's newest sub is a modified Romeo-class submarine and may be limited in what kind of armament it can carry. Judging by what we have been shown, while it wouldn't be able to carry a meaningful number of SLBMs, just one would be a threat if armed with a nuclear warhead. And although there's some debate over whether the North has been able to successfully miniaturize such a warhead to fit inside a missile, it's still something to be wary of. Besides nukes, the new submarines also presume to be able to launch the North's first nuclear-armed underwater drone, which it unveiled in March. And we can expect much more of this kind of development going forward. Leader Kim said it's an urgent task of the times to arm the Navy with nuclear weapons, as he urged the swift transfer of underwater and surface vessels equipped with tactical nuclear weapons to the Navy. We have with plans to build more submarines, including nuclear-powered ones, 
we can anticipate that North Korea will seek greater cooperation and even tech support from its allies Russia and China. After Russia reportedly proposed three-way naval exercises with North Korea and China in late July, Kim Jong-un is now set to head to Russia next week to meet with his counterpart Vladimir Putin. That's significant as his first foreign trip potentially in over four years, but also it could lead to arms trade and a transfer of military technology which might fill in some of North Korea's gaps in expertise that outside analysts have been speculating about.